Hey guys, it's Paul for the vacation again. We're picking up right where we left off last time. Uh, we finally made it to New LA. Uh, yeah. I'm really, really bad at this. We can move on. There we go. One day, that will be ours. Well, maybe not that one. Hopefully not that one. Things sound like it was made of plastic. Shouldn't they be equipped with better stuff? I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt. Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Oh man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to flub a flight check, Lynn. Good thing you had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you-know-whos? Cool. I'm Lin Lee Koo, mechanic and top all-around fix-it gal for Blade. Uh, yeah. Well, that, uh, doesn't usually happen. We know it doesn't, Lynn. Look, I know what you're thinking. But believe me, young as she may look, and yes, she is young, she's actually one of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug, I think that'll be all for today. You can clean up here and dock the skell. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Lynn! Lynn! Hmm. Uh, can I? Yeah, why? This song will start to annoy me later. I know it.
everything from up here. It beats walking, that's for sure. The best way to see NLA. I never get tired of this view. It's like a different city every time. It's certainly come a long way in the last few weeks. But there's still so much to be done. One day at a time. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express tour, though? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district, where Doug and I were conducting the flight test. It has food production, crash. cell development, you know, industries and stuff. It's also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district. But I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. The CD is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards anyway. Day or night, the best and only bargains on the planet. To your right, the residential district. Housing, housing, and more housing. Well, plus a nice park and the cathedral. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Right? The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. And last but not least, our destination, the administrative district, the nerve center at the heart of NLA. Note the distinct dual-level structure here. The upper level holds our administrative tower, home to Blade HQ and the government, not to mention Armory Alley, as well as the barracks where we live. The lower level there is a hangar complex for Skell maintenance and repairs. And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks, Lynn. We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Linley Airlines. Right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well, then, really? we better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty Wait. close, actually. She they hasn't submitted her report yet? But the guy at the uh, West Gate said that she did. That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. I'm so confused. We'll Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? Well, they do we can kind check of it out later. break, uh, whatever. They, they tend to double back on themselves. Like, one person says this, one person says that. There's, it's not, not really, um, it's not very, uh, coordinated with what is actually going on sometimes. Still fun, though. Yes. Ah. Level two. I'll be back for attention. Am I right? Just doubled up or ranked up or something. Just from us running around. Rather surprising. And here we are, the Blade Barracks. 
Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. I think I can answer that one. So, you must be the latest rescue. Secretary Nagi! Miss Kuhu. Why did you stare at me off I did what nothing. Did I my middle name. I ran into Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight I should know? No. Nothing to worry about. Good. <coughs> Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma, you found another one. Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, as for officially registering our new citizen here. Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. You may remember me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory? What are you talking about? From the stasis? Hey. I barely remember his name. And nothing at all really what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it. The entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what, two months? It You're making a lot of assumptions back on. My thoughts exactly. Well then, where should we begin? It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were Let's like orphans, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. I still wonder if I hadn't been there. Maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus, and no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here, and we are alive. We survived. <laughs> so yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet, and settle there. 
We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again, and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Why did Captain Ayu just white out? Cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing right. a blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions, and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, Surveyors, police, the list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now, we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. I'm Search for sure. and recovery of the life hold. Take a look at this. The White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis all housed in a structure called the Life Hold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers, and of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the Life Hold, are in the Life Hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But, there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Ah, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Ku, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district? Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. Blade Barracks, a hub of a lot of stuff, if you, especially if you're an online player. No?
You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. Yeah. Nagi must really, really want him to join Blade. Well, I'm making you feel awesome. The is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any extra fluff. Get a load of that skill. Even the way that they walk is so cool. Oh yeah, work it, baby. Mm -mm -mm. I feel that sentence was unnecessary. Now this guy gets it. I definitely want to go. Just everything about them. Jeez. The lasers, the force fields, the bipedal and vehicular transformations. You ever have that dream where you're inside one and it's just transforming over and over and over? Yeah, you know Point what here. I'm talking about. Actually, I, uh, I don't normally show this to people, but I've been working on some Skell fan fiction. Hold on, Skell I'll just pull it up here one sec. Lynn. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. Originally, scales were developed as a defensive measure to counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Still, just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. I'd love to get you into one to see for yourself, but it's not that simple. Well, yeah, duh. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. And even then, you need a license. These aren't toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons. I can destroy all of these. We only have so many of them to go around. Yes. So yes, as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? But it's not that simple. They choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically, HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. Blades right. go above and beyond in their duties and for the people of New LA in general. And how do so many bad guys get their hands on If you become a blade and work hard, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Speaking of work, that reminds me. Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. Good call. Let's head on over. Hmm. So this is mission control. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so Blades usually choose their own assignments. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official Blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every Blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here. Browsing missions for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console. If the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Okay. Why did it get so weird? Ta da! The Blade Scout Console. Um, online recruiting. Gets tough, the tough go to the Scout Console. You know, to get tougher. If you do end up joining us, 
You'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. It never was that important. Control anymore. assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. Of course, I might this console is. lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. You can't spell blade without T. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? I can't. Hang I on, I'm not that easy, would you? I've heard this what? Stuff I'm like. just saying you have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join Blade, or maybe a crazy person. Oh, and here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie, most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. You can even buy whole skells. Can you imagine owning your own skill? Yes. Huh? Oh, right, the door. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. Hey! Am I right? Really? Listen. So yeah, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Hassan, for example. Blades sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us, or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work, Hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that, your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, 
I had to take a phone call, so I just let it uh, finish up that cutscene. Um, oh, jeez, 30 minutes. Uh, well, this is Qualification signing out. See you guys next time.